So you guys want to look like Loki, the god of mischief, you're going to need a crown. So stay tuned to see how I made it in four simple steps using some EVA craft foam. Now we're going to jump right into it and get started with step number one. So I was trying to think of the next prop I should make, and then it hit me. Surprise! Loki's headpiece from the new series, Loki. So I'm going to break this down in a couple easy steps so you can follow, on, follow along and make one for yourself. So let's get to step one. So to start, we're going to need a pattern. In order to make that, we're going to go ahead and use our foam head. You can go over and check out PunishProps.com if you want to make one of your very own. But first, we're going to go ahead and cover it with a layer of tinfoil. After that, we're going to wrap the whole thing in duct tape. After it's all covered, then we can start to draw our pattern directly onto the duct tape. I'm only going to need to draw one side of this since the entire prop is going to be symmetrical. It is a crown after all. Now, to figure out the horns, I kind of guessed. It's not really as hard as it seems. As long as you cut each part on an angle and make it line up a little bit, it's going to look pretty nice. Prison that's wrapped around this foam head. So we can go ahead and then lay it down onto some foam and move on to the next step. All right, now that I have the pattern all cut out, we're gonna have one side right here and just flip it over because it is symmetrical and it's gonna lay right flat on the other side. I also have my little paper horns I cut out. These are gonna work just fine. I kinda eyeball them. Now, step two. Number two is cutting everything out of EVA foam. Now I chose this thickness of EVA foam just cause I'm used to working with helmets with 10 millimeter EVA foam and that's kind of, uh, it's gonna give it the proper look and the proper shape and when you bend it, it's gonna kinda hold uh, what it's supposed to look like as a headpiece. So after that, step number two, let's cut it out. So this part of the process is pretty straightforward. It's just taking the pattern we made, putting it directly onto our foam, tracing it, and then cutting it out. I mean, you could transfer it to cardstock or cardboard, but uh, who's really got time for that? Now, if you look closely, the line I'm going to cut right now is the line you want to cut on the angle. The part that's going to attach directly to the crown, you don't want to cut that part on the angle, or else you start to run into some issues. Now our pattern is kind of rounded off a little bit, so I just went ahead with the ruler, kind of made the edges a little bit straighter so it gets more of a sleeker, angular look. Okay, now on to step number three. Step number three. That's going to be gluing everything down. We're going to go ahead and use our good old friend, Mr. Contact Cement, and he's going to help us glue everything down. A lot of it is going to be really straightforward and pretty easy. The only difficult part, or at least tricky, is going to be the horns. Now, the horns are going to be hard because a lot of some of the sides are cut on an angle. That's going to give us this pointed shape at the very top. Now, if you look a little closely, you need to make sure all the glue is dried 100% because you'll get a little gap right here. Uh, when you're trying to stick it all together and you don't want that to happen. So make sure the glue is dried thoroughly before you go to stick everything together. And if you use floor mats, I would go ahead and use a second layer uh, just because it's going to help it stick a lot better. Um, I was impatient. Don't be like me. Don't be impatient. So let's get to gluing. Now, our glue of choice today is going to be good old fashioned contact cement. Now with contact cement, you apply it to the two things you want to stick together, wait for it to dry to kind of like a little tacky texture, and then you stick it together. And after that, the bond will be good forever. Now I did add a couple of extra credit things after I was done all gluing things together, like the horns. I rounded out the seams, uh, I stuck a two, two layer of two millimeter EVA craft foam, sorry it's a little bit of a tongue twister, over the horns to kind of give them a little bit more of a smoother look. I also went ahead and rounded off the centerpiece too to give that more of an angular look. If you want to see all the extra credit things I did, uh, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make a video on all the extra credit things, my tips and techniques. 
Now I did say the horns were going to be a little tricky. Now just make sure the glue is completely dry when you're trying to stick everything together, and be patient. Trust me, your patience shall be rewarded. After that's all done, now it's starting to look like a whole little headpiece right here. Looking pretty good. With everything all attached, it's looking freaking sweet. Looking pretty nice. I'm loving the way this is going so far. Now, step number four, which is going to be priming and painting. Uh, I'm kind of lumping those both into the same category as two, uh, instead of two steps, it's going to be one step. Because uh, the paint job on this is really easy. It's just a gold paint job. Now. Like I said, fairly straightforward. Let's get to painting and we're just about done. After that, we're gonna throw a strap on there and call it a day. So the first part of this process is to hit it up with the heat gun. Now, we're gonna gently glide the heat gun over the foam and it's gonna change the texture of the foam itself. That's gonna give us the desired effect that we're actually gonna... After that, we're gonna go ahead, put a layer or two of Plasti Dip on there. Now, you don't need too, too much. Um, two layers is going to get the job done just fine. Just kind of like to seal up the foam, make everything look really nice. And last but not least, you're going to take your favorite gold paint and go nuts. I'm going to use rust -Oleum's metallic finish and then throw a quick clear coat over it to protect the entire paint job. And that's it. We're done. And there you have it. Loki's headpiece from the new series streaming on Disney Plus. Loki. Now, my favorite part about this was the fact that this didn't take that long to make. I can make this in an afternoon, and so can you. Just follow along, and four easy steps. Now, the other good thing about this is the fact that this paint scheme, it's gold. It's pretty easy. Now, I also did do a lot of extra credit, which is putting the two millimeter foam right here and rounding off the center piece right here. Again, not required. This strap, you can Hot glue it with some string. I used some elastic, but that's just what works for me. Now, that's going to bring it to the end of the video for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And until next video, stay crafty, my friends.